Welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to understand the lifting capability of a CAT Next Gen Mini Hydraulic Excavator 308, 309 and 310 whilst using a 10,000 pound weight. Now all three machines lift the weight, they all do it a little bit differently. So let's hop up in the machines and see how they do. So now we're up here in the Next Gen 308 compact radius machine. Long stick, hydraulic coupler, thumb, we have removed the bucket. Whenever you can remove the bucket, that's just that much more weight that you can manage. The block we're using is 10,000 pounds. Uh, the machine has the extra counterweight on at 250 kilogram, and we've got steel track and rubber pad. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see how it lifts. Now I already know, having done this several times before, that the machine lifts it fine up out of the trench as you can see. And then as we spin around, um, sometimes this tips, sometimes it doesn't, but basically we have no working envelope here. We can get all the way around the machine, but I can't go stick out. I can just about get it all the way around. We're a little bit light on the back end there. If we had the 500 kilogram counterweight on the back of the machine, that would give us a little bit more stability. So this is the Next Gen 308 Compact Radius Machine, standard undercarriage, steel track, rubber pad. It can lift, manage, manipulate 10,000 pound out of the trench and back into it. So now we're up here on the Cat Next Gen 309. Now the 309 has the long undercarriage on, so it's six inches wider and one foot longer. So that's gonna give me a lot more stability. The lifting capability of the 308 and 309 is exactly the same. Now this machine has a long stick on, just like the 308, along with the hydraulic coupler and the hydraulic thumb. Now this machine also has the 500 kilogram extra counterweight on the machine, and that will also add to uh, greater stability. Now that 500 kilogram extra counterweight is really for extreme applications. If you're doing a lot of heavy lifting, or you've got a TRS unit on the machine, but once again, you can see the 309 easily lifts at low idle the 10,000 pound out. Now as I come around the side of the machine, uh, it's a lot more forgiven than the 308. You know, I sit here and I'm nice and comfortable. I feel very stable. I am not tipping at all. So, you know, great deal of confidence as I come around with the weight. If I needed to put the stick out a little bit, I have got a greater working envelope with this configuration, long undercarriage ejection counterweight, than what I had on the 308. And remember, you can't get the long uh, undercarriage on a 308, but you can add that 500 kilogram counterweight if need be. And we'll just easily, gently place this weight back into the trench. Easy control, very controllable, no problem whatsoever. And now for our final machine, the Next Gen 310. Fixed boom, long stick, hydraulic coupler, hydraulic thumb. Now the undercarriage is the long undercarriage, so it's the same undercarriage that is on the 309. Now this machine only has the 250 kilogram extra counterweight on it. Once again, it can be upgraded to the 500 kilogram counterweight if needed. Now, this is a 10.2 metric ton machine and it's still considered a mini excavator. Now it can lift the 10,000 pound weight up out of the trench, low idle, with no problem whatsoever. So if you're looking for a machine that can manipulate 10,000 pound easily, then the 310 fixed boom machine is absolutely the machine. Now over the side, great stability. And I'll show you what we've got here. I'm actually gonna sort of lower this weight down to the ground and sort of show you the working envelope that it has. You see, I've got quite a bit of working envelope. I can push it out there. And at this point, you know, I'm not even tipping but I'm gonna bring the weight back into the machine. I'm gonna bring the boom into a seated position. So whenever you lift anything, always bring the boom into a seated position, and then we're just gonna go stick out on this machine. Now, it won't go full stretch. The stick out will stall around about there, but at that position, I can then continue with safety and stability 
swinging all the way around the machine, 360 degrees, keeping all fours firmly planted on the ground as I swing around and then reach back in and easily place the 10,000 pound weight back into the trench. So there we have it. You just saw the 308, the 309 and 310, all handling, manipulating 10,000 pound. Just to summarize, the 308 managed it, but no working envelope. The 309, same weight, same configuration, same lifting capability, but the machine was a lot more stable because of that long undercarriage that we have. And then the 310, the Mac Daddy. Does it all, lifts it up, swings it around, no problem whatsoever. For further information, check out your local CAT dealers to find out more about these next-gen mini hydraulic excavators.